so I would start with calculating the correlation coefficient. Let's start by inserting the data in our calculator. I would choose mode, press mode twice, and choose two for regression. Okay, so this is a simple linear regression. I would choose one for linear regression. Okay, and now we could insert our data. Always start by keying in or inserting the values of x and then y. Okay, so it's always x comma y. So I start with x, which is 2. And then I select comma over here, just beside the m plus comma, y is negative 1, and press m plus. Okay, so that is our first data. And we would continue inserting all of our data until we are done. So next will be 4, comma, 0 0.2 m plus, 6, comma, 3 m plus, 8 comma 4.3 m plus 10 comma 5 m plus 12 comma 6.5 m plus 14 comma 7.2 m plus okay so in total, we have seven data. And to get the value of the sample correlation coefficient, or R, is quite easy. Simply press Shift 2, okay? And move on to your right-hand side. So press the arrow here over your right-hand side. Press it twice, and this is your R, okay? So I'm selecting 3 for my correlation coefficient, which is 0 0.9829, okay? And we are actually done over here. Unless you are asked to work out the formulas, of the sum of squares in order to find your correlation coefficient then we would have to do this and the best way to do this would be to press shift 1 okay over here you have the values of sum of x square sum of x even n and if you press the arrow on your right hand side you have the values of sum of y square, sum of y, and sum of xy. So we are simply choosing all of the values and inserting them over here. And then we would be able to calculate the sum of squares. So I would start with sum of x square, 560. And again, shift 1 to find the sum of x. I would select 2. Okay, so 56. Where n was 7. Okay. And sum of y square. Again, shift 1. And I would go to my right hand side. I'm selecting 1. This gives me 147.62 minus, again, shift 1 to select sum of y, 25.2 square over 7. Okay. And here I have 
sum of x y shift one to my right I'm selecting three two hundred and eighty minus sum of x was fifty six and sum of y was twenty five point two over seven to calculate the sum of squares of xx, I simply take 560 minus bracket 56 square divided by 7. And I get 112. Okay, to find the sum of squares of yy, I take 147.2. 62 minus bracket 25.2 square divided with 7 this gives us 56.9 and to find the sum of squares of xy I take 280 minus 56 multiplied by 25.2 divided with 7 and this gives us 78.4 and to model your simple linear regression you need the values of a and b so the simple linear regression is simply y hat is equals to a plus bx where b is equals to ssxy over ssxx and a is equals to y bar minus bx bar okay but you could directly get the values of a and b from your calculator and uh, you may need to use the formula if the question asks you to do so okay so to find the values of a and b directly from the calculator you choose shift 2 okay and move on to your right hand side okay this is the value of a and this is the value of b so a is equals to minus 2 plus shift 2 b is equals to 0 0.7 okay in the case that you need to use the formula ssxy was 78.4 divided with SSXX it was 112 and when you calculate this you would get 0 0.7 okay and to find the value of A we simply take Y bar which we could get by pressing shift 2 um, move on to your right hand side this is y bar is 3.6 b was 0 0.7 and x bar shift 2 and I'm selecting 1 is 8 okay and when you calculate this you would get the answer as your a which is negative 2.